When do the milky teeth erupt and fall? Welcome to our comprehensive guide on when do the milky teeth erupt and fall in children. As parents, it's natural to have questions about your child's dental development and what to expect during this crucial phase. In this article, we will provide you with detailed information about the eruption and falling out of milk teeth, commonly known as primary teeth. So, let's dive in and explore the fascinating journey of your child's dental milestones. When do the milky teeth erupt? The eruption of milk teeth, also referred to as deciduous teeth or primary teeth, is an important developmental process in children. Here's a breakdown of the typical eruption timeline for primary teeth. 1. The lower central incisors. The eruption of the lower central incisors is usually the first milestone in a child's dental journey. Most babies experience the emergence of these teeth between the ages of 6 to 10 months. The upper central incisors. Shortly after the lower central incisors, the upper central incisors make their appearance. Typically, these teeth erupt between 8 to 12 months of age, slightly later than the lower ones. The upper lateral incisors come next, emerging on either side of the upper central incisors. These teeth typically erupt between 9 to 13 months of age, completing the front incisor set in the upper jaw. The lower lateral incisors follow suit, appearing on either side of the lower central incisors. Usually, they make their way through the gums between 10 to 16 months of age. The first molars. Next in line are the first molars, which erupt behind the lateral incisors. These larger teeth usually emerge between 13 to 19 months of age, providing a surface for chewing and grinding food. The canines. The canines, also known as cuspids, make their entry into the dental arch. These pointy teeth typically erupt between 16 to 23 months of age, completing the set of front teeth. The second molars. Lastly, the second molars make their grand entrance at the back of the mouth. These molars usually erupt between 23 to 33 months of age, completing the full set of primary teeth. When do the milky teeth fall? As children grow, their jaws expand, and their permanent teeth develop beneath the primary teeth. Eventually, the primary teeth need to make way for the permanent teeth. Here's what you need to know about the timeline for the falling out of milk teeth. 1. The lower central incisors. The lower central incisors are often the first to go, making room for their permanent successors. Generally, these teeth start to fall out around the age of 6 to 7 years. Following the lower central incisors, the upper central incisors begin to wiggle and loosen. By approximately 7 to 8 years of age, they typically fall out. The upper lateral incisors. The upper lateral incisors, like the upper central incisors, also tend to fall out around 7 to 8 years of age. This creates space for the permanent teeth to come in. Similar to their upper counterparts, the lower lateral incisors also fall out between the ages of 7 to 8 years. The first molars. The first molars usually start to loosen and fall out around 9 to 11 years of age. These teeth are located at the back of the mouth, behind the primary canines. The canines. The canines follow the first molars, falling out between 9 to 12 years of age. The second molars. Lastly, the second molars make way for the permanent second molars, falling out approximately between the ages of 10 to 12 years. FAQs about the eruption and falling of milky teeth. Here are some frequently asked questions about the eruption and falling out of primary teeth, along with their answers. 1. When should I be concerned if my child's milk teeth haven't erupted? It's important to consult a pediatric dentist if your child's milk teeth haven't erupted by the age of 18 months. Delayed eruption could be due to various reasons, and a professional evaluation will help identify any underlying issues. 2. What can I do to alleviate teething discomfort for my child? Teething can be a challenging time for both infants and parents. You can soothe your child's discomfort by giving them a cool teething ring or gently massaging their gums with a clean finger. Consult your pediatrician for suitable over-the-counter pain relief options. 3. Is it normal for my child to lose their milk teeth earlier or later than their peers? Yes, the eruption and falling out of milk teeth can vary among children. The timeline provided is an average range, and individual variations are common. However, if you're concerned, 
it's always a good idea to consult a dentist for personalized advice. 4. How should I care for my child's milk teeth? Proper oral hygiene is crucial even for primary teeth. Use a soft bristled toothbrush and a smear of fluoride toothpaste to brush your child's teeth twice a day. Encourage healthy eating habits and limit sugary snacks and drinks. 5. Do I need to save my child's milk teeth? Saving milk teeth is a personal choice. Some parents keep them as mementos, while others choose to discard them. If you're unsure, discuss it with your child and decide together. 6. When will my child's permanent teeth come in after the milk teeth fall out? After the milk teeth fall out, the permanent teeth generally start to erupt within a few weeks or months. The exact timeline can vary, but most children will have their permanent teeth by the age of 12 to 14 years. Conclusion Understanding the eruption and falling out of milky teeth is essential for every parent. By being aware of the typical timeline, you can monitor your child's dental development and identify any potential issues early on. Remember to schedule regular dental checkups for your child to ensure a healthy and beautiful smile for years to come.